Hoysala emperors ruled most of the Karnataka in South India, between the 10th-14th centuries. The capital of the Hoysalas was initially at Bailur but later it moved to Halebidu from Bailur. The Hoysala era was an important period in the development of art, architecture, and religion southern part of India. The Chenakasava Temple at Bailur, the Hoysalaswara Temple at Halebidu, the Chenakasava Temple at Somanathapura, the temples at Arasakari, Amruthapura, Belavadi, Nugahali, Hosaholalu, Aralagapi, Korvangla, Paranhali, Mosale, and Basaralu are some of the notable examples of Hoysala art. Now the importance of the video is the erotic sculptures in Hoysala architecture. This extremely conservative country was once home to the world's first sex. Treatise and the erotic art on display is perhaps more shocking now than when it was created. India was not always like this. Sexual norms were far more liberal before the 13th century, giving equal importance to the secular and the spiritual. Sex was taught as a subject in formal education, and Kama Sutra, the world's first sex treatise, was written in ancient India between the 4th century BCE and the 2nd century. Other theories have to do with the role of temples themselves in those times, they were considered places of learning as well as worship, especially of the finer arts, including the art of lovemaking. In addition, some believe that the depiction of sexual activities in temples was considered a good omen because it represented new beginnings and new life. What is considered beautiful or ugly, and whether the nature of beauty is subjective or objective has been one of the most pursued and most controversial topics in aesthetic philosophy. Historically, architecture and sculptures of Hindu temples in India have conveyed sacred narratives. They often narrate stories from the lives of Hindu deities and pious kings, and feature modestly clothed human figures and depictions of battle animals like elephants and horses. Erotica in ancient temples as a form of pornography. There were no cameras in those days to make porn films. This was one way of depicting sex and eroticism. They depicted inner emotions and perceptions of the artist and the people who commissioned these works. Temples and the sculptures carved on their walls are a visual documentation of the society of those times.